Thanks, Tara. Well, the players are almost ready, and so is the renovated stadium. KWA's and Fox 24's Kelly O'Neill continues our team coverage. She toured the new North End Zone edition of the stadium today and gives us an inside look at what fans can expect on game day. Hey, Kelly. Hey Alex, well as Sarah just mentioned, it's been a long time in the making, but this stadium is nearly complete. And when Razorback fans come to call the Hogs on Saturday, they'll find new food options to help feed their passion. Well, not only is it a natural fit, but you know, for us and for me, it's a dream come true. I mean, new this season, a new stadium with new concession stands featuring local favorites. You know, the calls we're getting have been crazy, so we're really excited about being here. Razorback Athletics and dining partner Levy have teamed up with Slim Chickens and Dickie's Barbecue Pit. On the menu, we'll have our tenders and we'll have, you know, French fries and all the dipping sauces. And our slow smoked, our pulled pork sandwich. Uh, we're going to be doing a barbecue nacho as well. We've got brownies for sort of the sweet tooth, and then we're also looking for a mac and cheese. The food will be brought in on game day and made fresh on site. It's, it's very nerve-wracking. It's good. There's going to be a lot of people here. We're excited about the new change and, and so I think there's a, a great deal of uh, energy around Coach Morris and the new staff and, and the, just the, the new future of the Hogs. For the past year, Levy has been redoing its own menu and tasting new dishes. Executive Chef Alfred Martinez says the focus this year was bringing in local ingredients. It makes you feel at home. It's really delicious and it's fresh. New options on its menu include a woo pig suey burger, a bacon burger, grilled chicken ranch sandwich, and loaded nachos. The food brings the people together. People get to eat together, drink together. So it's about having a good time and having fun. And Martinez did tell me some food prices did go up just a little bit, but overall the prices do remain very reasonable. We're live in Fayetteville. Kelly O'Neill, Fox 24 News.